I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 12th of September, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life, living in Leon, Nicaragua. And today we're out for another barrio walk. Today we are in the first stage of construction of the Reparto Thomas Borges Martinez in the southeastern section of the city. We are just west of the Reparto we were in yesterday. So we are still south of Guadalupe and uh, we're gonna be investigating this area. I'm out on foot and just walking. I've never been in this area. So this is all completely new to me as well, I assume, as to you. Let's get to it. We're gonna see more of this reparto right after the bump. what this place is behind me. It's colonial something. It's a business, but I just can't get my eyes to focus on the words, unfortunately. There's a giant whatever here. It's a really big campus, like a big built, multiple buildings. There's a garden there, but it's for sale. That's why I'm mentioning it. Otherwise, it would just be some random business that wasn't open. So I'm just going to throw the sign up here so we can see it. Uh, but I have no idea what it is, but I'll also throw, throw it up on a map so you can see where it is. It is a big spot on the satellite and, uh, Looks kind of interesting, but maybe we can figure out what it is in the future. Anyway, we're off on a walk. I want to show these signs. This is a 5,000 Cordoba fine for dumping trash here in the Reparto. So these are brand new, right? These have just gone into effect. You can tell both the sign is brand new. It's a brand new style. I like the little logo that they have on it. That is the Alcadia of Leon with the lion there. Very cool. However, you can tell that it hasn't done a lot yet because trash dumping is well in effect. But at least there is a fine. At least they are put up, putting up signs and they are preparing to start doing something about it. But we will show what the trash is like, where they have the sign. Like, obviously, they need the sign here, but this is pretty bad. Now, some of this does come from the water washing through. There is like a river here. That was a wire stuck on my leg. That was great. And uh, we're gonna walk through and look through here a little bit. Now water runs off from the top here and creates kind of a river-ish thing down there. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. Uh, this is why we desperately need big fines and we need to do something about the trash in the city because so, these areas would be so beautiful, so healthy, and instead we have trash. But I do want to point out we have a taxi here and the city bus going through, even though I'm pretty far south. But to get us started, I'm going to bring up a map and show where we are right now so you know where we're starting. And I'm heading west along the northern edge of this reparto of Martinez, uh, Thomas Borges Martinez, and uh, we're going to explore. Seriously, I've never been out here, never been close, uh, not really. So this is one of the most remote parts of the cities uh, of the city that I've never been in. So it's very interesting. And it's weird because it kind of looks like fields, like the road is just hard packed. And I'm watching a taxi go up a dirt road into what looks like it's just climbing into a field across the street. These are the roads going through the Reparto. So this is a uh, planned community. This is a project, uh, as we would call it in the United States. And this is labeled as the first stage, so I don't know if more stages have gone in. Uh, I have no idea what the status is, so we're just out walking and investigating. And it's a beautiful day, so let's get going. So on this side, the north side, the, the land dips down really steeply. So there's some spots where like water runs off and it goes down kind of like a creek and ends up in a low lying area. But there are some houses down there. There's some along, but for the most part, it goes down pretty steeply. And then on this side, it actually goes up a little bit. So it's, it's kind of hilly down here. Now you can actually see there's a house up here that's two stories and quite large. It doesn't fit along with everything else, but you're constantly getting variety like this everywhere in Nicaragua. It's just the style that you get big and small all mixed in, you just never know where you're gonna find it. So it's always a surprise and things change all the time. There's a surprising amount of traffic out here. I mean, there's a lot of houses, right? When you look at a map, hola! <laughs> when you look at a map, there's a lot of, of population out here. So it's pretty dense. So I guess you would need a number of taxis, a number of buses, a number of people coming and going all the time. Hola! But it's, uh, uh, it's an area that, you know, there's no businesses down here. You don't look, I'm sure there's pulperias. We're going to find out as we walk, but there's no restaurants. Uh, there is, you know, there's like a church or something, but that's kind of it. Like there's just not things you would come to. So areas like this, repartos like this, end up feeling really remote. Because if you go out to even a Sutiaba or Guadalupe or a Fatima, those things have destinations. And so even if you are 
The road is turning pretty heavily here. We must have reached the northwest corner already. Is that possible? It's, it's plausible. And yeah, there's directions to a church, which I believe is on the western side. Okay, well, we're making a big turn in the road. We'll figure it out a little bit. We'll throw it up on a map while I'm talking because I'm just rambling anyway. And, and there's a doggy here. Hi. Hi. So, when you have destinations like a Fatima with a famous restaurant like Jalisco, it makes it really easy to go to those places because a taxi will take you there. They have a destination to go to. People go there. And so, so there's, it, it feels like a place that you would visit and everyone in the city knows it. Even if you don't go very often, you go once in a while. So you get to know the places. You can see the hill here, steps going up to houses. And as I walk along, there's construction everywhere here. Maybe not like super active, but I mean, clearly current construction. So this is not the first spot that I've seen these uh, drainage systems that are being put in. That looks like they might be constructing a bridge and there's clearly a ravine right there. So we may be seeing some major construction going on in this area. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So it's, uh, oh, this is the church that was on the map. Very small church. And uh, so because it lacks any destination things, it ends up being cut off from the rest of the city. Not cut off that you can't get here, but cut off that there's no main traffic flow. There's no, uh, there's nothing causing people to go to and from. It becomes just purely a bedroom community. And so people don't know them at all. So when you say to people, I'm going to, you know, one of these communities, they're just like, I, I've never heard of that, right? Like Carlos Canales, where I film quite often, no one's heard of it. No one has any idea where it is even though it has a sign up and you go past it on the map all the time. No one looks at maps here and the signs aren't very big on the road and everyone's conditioned not to look at them. So here's another larger house here. We have a small pulperia right here. I don't know what they sell, but they definitely do uh, recharges for, for cell phones. I believe we are walking south on the western edge of the Reparto now. There's houses on both sides, but it's not super dense here. But you can tell it's pretty dense if you go into the middle of it, which we'll see more of pretty soon. It's very quiet out here. It's a pretty warm day. It's very pretty. There's also a lot of foliage out here. So you end up with you know, not a lot of visibility. There's a lot of houses right here, but you can't see them. It's been around this place. This yellow house sells Naka Tamale. If you have not had a Naka Tamale, you've probably not been to Nicaragua. That is the food here. Okay, this is interesting. So even though we're out here in a, a seriously remote area, that is rebar and concrete. Obviously it failed. That is a manhole. So we have public sewer out here. Some people ask me about that. Are there, you know, municipal, municipal services in some of these far flung areas and not always, right? Certainly sometimes there is not. Sometimes people are on well, sometimes water flows through the streets, but in a lot of these and all the ones I saw today uh, and yesterday, there's been, there's been uh, clear signs of municipal services uh, under the highway, under the, the hard pack road, whatever. So. That is, uh, that is a good sign. We have another pulperia here, definitely doing recharges, but it looks like they have some other things. Yeah, they got drinks, snacks, that kind of stuff. In case it's not obvious, if you watched yesterday's video and today, uh, I did these back to back. They're in a very close proximity to each other. So I just took a little bit, drove from one to another. I slammed down a liter of water in between switched cameras. I'm on the 11 now instead of the nine yesterday, I completely ran down the battery yesterday. And so was prepared to just flip over cameras and uh, <laughs> I have a bunch of batteries. Uh, that way the, the nine can cool down while the 11 is doing this recording. It's challenging doing all this stuff for you guys. But with this, I was already one day ahead, which is not much. It means I'm still pretty much hola, very much uh, behind the eight ball for recording, but with today getting two videos done, uh, cause we already did one and another one now, it's gonna put me two days up. Once I have two days, I have a little bit of breathing room. Like I don't feel too bad. I really like to have between three and four. Getting up to like six is almost impossible. Cause that means I'm always turning out a video on the same day. 
but oh i feel like we should turn in here let's do a quick spin around and show where we are and then we're gonna head up the road here i feel like we're in kind of the middle hola <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Not a lot of people doing recording out here, so we're a little bit popular. So I'm going to look at a map and head up this road with the horse. Uh, it looks like a good middle of the Reparto Road. Get a good feel for where we are. Hola! <laughs> they sold Nakatamal. Nakatamales there as well. As we head up this way, heading east, it's actually a really nice breeze here. This is very comfortable. We got some cute horses, cute dogs. So this is actually the road that I wanted to be on. This goes along the southern edge of the main portion of the Reparto. This is not a big Reparto, but it's really dense. Oh, this is interesting. So this is an American clothing shop in the middle. Hola. 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 <laughs> this is a really pleasant area, actually. Someone's coming up behind me. Nope, they're turning. Really nice breeze because we're up a little bit high. There's some fields off to my right, which is the south. And uh, had we kept going straight, had we not turned here, because this is the road I meant to turn on. Hola, buenas tardes. It is a rather large uh, high school that is located down there, labeled as the something like <laughs> Kathy someone Memorial's Secondary School. Um, so, so this is really cool. This gives very much a feeling of like American farmland in the 1930s feel. The hard pack, the dust, the barbed wire yards. Uh, it just makes me think of Iowa and State Fair, right? And you can kind of see here, this is an empty lot. There's a field out there. And here's another one of the streets going through. So this is certainly one of the uh, poor outlying barrios slash projects. Um, but, you know, I mean, it has its, has its challenges. Hold on, we gotta get this cool wall here. Hopefully you can see it. I can't tell what you can see, there we go. very faded and uh, so this being the projects right is is a rougher area I mean the people are very nice right just there aren't a lot of resources this kind of area however I just came on small but very decent houses out here hola buenas tardes And there's some construction here and there, not just the bridge stuff, but like there's some houses being built and whatnot. But it definitely has no infrastructure for say a restaurant to go in. Um, although I'm sure it would be much appreciated to have one. Lots of dogs, even <laughs> yes, little dogs looking at me. Are you, gro oh, you're growling. <laughs> Buenas. Hola. All right, I'm gonna point out, there is a manhole cover here. There's also a community well. So, I don't know that this is still in use. This dog is purple. How did you get purple? So let's check out this dog. This is definitely not blood. How did this dog turn purple? You're purple. Hola. Bien, y vos? That dog was so purple. <laughs> it, it looked like it had been in a huge bloody fight, but it was not blood in any way whatsoever. 
it feels like this kind of community needs just like a little restaurant, bar, very simple thing, something to be able to go to. And they've got the pulperias, but they're, as far as I can tell, and as far as I can tell from the map, there's nothing beyond that. It's very, you know, limited. It's just the houses, which when you get too much like that, I think becomes a little bit too insular. It's too much like, oh, there's just nothing. And if you have just that neighborhood bar or something, and it's like, I love these, they have signs up, they have something for sale. Now check this place out, very blue. Now that being said, Vera Cruz doesn't have a single restaurant either. Oh, little puppy. Hey, little puppy. Hi. As I trip over another manhole. Lots of, lots of dogs, lots of little dogs. Hola. Oh, we have a couple of puppies here. Perritos. Perritos. Hola. Oh, your goodness. I riled them up. They're little. They're little. <laughs> All right. I really don't know where I'm walking. Hola. Hola. Ah, new house being built right there. And here's the Claro store. That house has a very different look. Now, if you see these signs, they say reef us. Uh, we have another. Another manhole. So definitely sewage around here. So these reef house signs are like the lotto. Uh, there's not that many places that sell them or at least advertise them, but they are around. Uh, so I'm gonna check the map. I believe we wanna head down this way. Actually, I'm just gonna go this way. Why, why check the map? Let's just go. And maybe get a little bit of shade. This camera is gonna overheat soon, I can tell. Cause it's hot. I am hot hot today, but I'm getting some exercise. This is good. So this is, they're doing construction just over here. There's a wall and then there's a big house over here. Maybe not, maybe not big, but larger than others. Very dusty out here though. I can't even tell the screen's on, it's so bright. Oh, there's another dog. All right, we're gonna give the camera a break for a minute. We're gonna teleport down to the end of the road. And uh, I think that gets us onto the main north-south way here in this reparto. It's actually on the east side, but the main road is only on the east side. Uh, that's often how it's done here, that there'll be a main road on the edge, and then the entire neighborhood is off to one side of it, rather than uh, straddling it, which would be more common in the US, but still, you get both. This place is a little bit cute here. In a cute little green place there. All right, we're gonna head down to the end of the road. In many ways, I think this area gives a lot of the feeling of like the American West back in like the 1940s because the the dusty roads and the dry conditions and the things just beginning to be built. It's much how it is portrayed, at least in a lot of media, uh, what it was like back then. So I'm working my way uh, to the east and to the south so we can see some new stuff uh, and work my way back to the car. I can't be out walking too long today. We've done quite a bit of uh, exploration. This is very interesting. I did notice uh, there's a little bit of music that I'm uh, heading towards, so I gotta be careful uh, because it's gonna uh, blow out the show. But, um, well, we're gonna talk about the lots in just a minute. So we popped out of the Reparto and we're now on 2nd Avenue 
west where it comes south out of Guadalupe and comes through the Repartos to the south and heads out to the farmland out to the south. So I've come out here so we can get a little look at what this road is like. This is the main thoroughfare through this area. So the Reparto that we were just visiting is on my left. And on my right is a number of houses and businesses and churches. So uh, the Reparto side has just the lots. And we're going to talk about that in a second. But the other side actually has some businesses. So there are some services for this Reparto, but they're across the street on 2nd Avenue and not very many, but there are a few. And like some of those are pulperias. We're about to go past a uh, Libraria, which is a, it, it means bookstore, but it's not what they really do. What they sell is normally school supplies. So pens, notebooks, those kinds of things are what you're normally going to get. You can also see more of these uh, drainage construction system uh, boxes here as well. And I want to show, now we're going to come past something that I don't know what it is on the map. It looks like maybe it's medical, but it's a really big structure. So we're going to stop for just a second and talk before we go past it and start getting into what is this thing? Because I can see it and I can see it on the map and I have no idea what it is. So this is the Reparto behind me. And as I went through, it was really noticeable that there are a, there are lot numbers on just about everything. So if you pay attention, everything has been lotified. Uh, so it's, it was pre-identified, and which of course is expected as a project, that the government came in, laid out the roads, put in the drainage, uh, set everything up, and then uh, gave away or sold uh, these small lots where people were able to build their houses and gardens and whatever. So that is how uh, that has been done. Now, there's kind of drainage on the side here, and you can see some people have bridges to get over it. That's a common thing you find around uh, in Nicaragua, lots of neighborhoods, you're going to find little bridges over the drainage in front of your house. It's just really common. So we're going to be exploring up to the north and heading back to where my car is at the top, at the northeast corner of this neighborhood of Thomas Borges Martinez. Uh, but first I'm going to show the Liberia here, this house on the corner, and this big structure that we're about to go past. And that's what I really want to see because I have no idea what it is. Okay, so this is crazy. The outside of this is done in a castle style, even with crenellations at the top. And there is a big, beautiful house inside there. It's a lot of trees. It's very obscured, so you can't really see it, but you're standing here in person. You can tell there's something really gorgeous in there. Hola, como están? Sí. Hola. <laughs> están en YouTube ahora. <laughs> Got some big construction going on over there. Uh, that's a that's a large wall and more stuff. This, as far as I can tell, I'm gonna guess is garbage collection for the city. This is a very large lot here with big trucks and it looks like they're doing garbage compaction. So this may be part of the Alcadia or the city offices uh, where they handle that. I mean, look at that, that's gotta be garbage, right? Oh, it's a lot of dust. Wow. So. We, we talk about waste a lot on the show and we wonder where does it go? How is it handled? Because sometimes you see like the, the horse drunk carts out where we are picking stuff up and you're like, what's going on with that? And we see like these, these weird little trash dumps, but we also see big trash trucks coming with compactors and all that stuff. They're clearly not going to that. Here's where it's coming. Those are the big bales of trash that are heading for some type of processing. Oh my gosh, my lens is covered in dust now. This is... It's a very dusty road. Oh, there's another truck coming with a whole bunch of dust. We're gonna we're gonna have to pause this for a second. All right, we're past all the dusty stuff, and uh, we're just coming a little bit farther north now. And so that explains what a lot of it. That beautiful house that is just crazy, and the city trash uh, uh, management facility. So there is a land. So Terreno is land. As far as I can tell, that's what this is. It actually says Ter. It says Terreno but written poorly. But I'm gonna show this, because I'm not sure exactly what land is for sale, but this is kind of a beautiful spot, so just in case anyone's interested. And we have a little roadside, so roadside shop selling candy and stuff over here. 
Hola. Buenas tardes. And uh, so we're still coming along the Reparto on the left, but on the right, whatever this is, is gorgeous. It has a high wall and beautiful mature plants in there. Like it looks really cool from the outside, but I have no idea. It looks like they have a big garden maybe on the inside. It's uh, interesting. Like all of this along here is interesting. Now there's a, a little wall in front and a garden and then the main wall. I, the trees are really cool. Okay, you gotta check out the trees. You have to have a lot of space and trees out here or it's just way too much dust no matter what you do. So, yeah. I can see a little bit behind this wall over here. There's definitely a big building, not big, a full size building, uh, but it's very low and seems just like a house. Like I don't really know. And then the other side, we're still here at the barrio. You can see the reparto. There's like a path. There should be a bridge there, but there's not. But most of the time it's dry down there. So you can just walk through, unless you're me. You saw my video yesterday. I tried to walk through a ditch and I fell over. So <laughs> I'm not prepared for this stuff. It's a very pleasant day for a walk. I am recording this on a Saturday afternoon. So it, that's pushing three o'clock. I've been out walking for a few hours and uh, it's really nice out. It's warm and sunny, um, but actually it was much warmer when I started uh, three hours ago. Now I have to say it's actually really pleasant. I have a nice breeze. Uh, the sun isn't so intense. Okay, check this place out. Got a very nice, very nice country house here. I'm being followed by a group of people who are interested in being on the show, I think. This area is really interesting because we have the Reparto, another walk through through the ditch there on one side. And then we have these relatively large houses or something on the other. Now, these kind of look like houses, but I don't think they are. I think this is part of a medical facility or something. So we're going to we're going to show this for a second. They've got a radio tower. It's not a. Uh, it's not a cell tower, so it's either Wi-Fi or radio radio, because depending on how old it is, um, it looks like old fashioned radio. It does not look like Wi-Fi. All these kids were paying attention to me and didn't notice the taxi almost running them over. Almost started. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it's definitely a facility for children here in Nicaragua. This is a beautiful facility. Like looking at what it looks like, I'm gonna try to look through the uh, through the gate. It's a really beautiful modern facility for children. I'm gonna do some research and find out what it is. So I'm sure we'll cut in uh, and say that, but it's uh, very well maintained, like beautiful parking lots. Everything's like well done. It's weird because out here it's dirt road and very rural and this incredibly rural Reparto on one side and then this really modern facility on the other with big water tower and radio tower and parking lots and modern buildings and, and paths and everything is, is uh, you know, uh, uh, manicured and beautiful, weird disparity in this place. Now, of course, if it's a facility for children who need services, it's fantastic that we have something like that. It's just, it's just surprising to find it that way uh, in the middle of where we are. So here's a little shop over here.
There's a shop that sells PVC coming up up here. And then, ah, I think it's on this side. We're getting really close to where my car was located. So this is a Ferretoria. This is hardware store. This is a little mini community hardware store. And then this road going through. And then over here, we got a outdoor pulperia with all kinds of things. And we got some cute houses here. Really cute. And with that, the battery died as it often does, or the camera overheated. But we had finished up the walk and I was just coming around the corner to the car. So the only thing I didn't get to do was do the wrap up. But I did want to say I looked up about the little village that we just saw for the children. And that is actually part of SOS Children's Villages. They're a nonprofit based in Austria, but work in nearly every country in the world and help uh, create home villages for orphans and children at risk so that they have a loving family environment in which they can live. So it's a very important nonprofit. It was founded in Austria by a soldier from the Austrian army who came home after World War II and found that there were many orphans and he wanted to provide a home for them. So it's a very important nonprofit. They operate all over the place. Uh, one of their uh, major benefactors is the Johnny Cash Foundation. It's very interesting uh, to look that up. So that was what we found, and then it was right back to the car. In other quick news, this is my new hat that just came from the US. I'm testing out a few new hats uh, to see if I can find something because my Jack Wolfskin is so worn out and getting a replacement Jack Wolfskin has proven to be impossible. I cannot find one anywhere. So uh, trying out some different things. This one feels pretty nice, but I'm really happy with the Florida Kanyas that I just got uh, in Managua a few days ago. This is also our first video being recorded on the GoPro 12. All these things came from the US with Paul, but I'm not picking them up until Monday. So I'm kind of jumping the gun by using this but i did have to wrap up this video i had the gopro 12 ready to go i wanted to give it a try we're actually recording this one little segment in hdr but it will mean nothing because the light is terrible when we get out into the field and do some uh hdr and and log and different things to test it out i think we will see some difference at least we hope and we also really hope that the battery life is a bit better. That's the real reason that I got it. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. Get down there in those comments. Let me know what you think about our barrio walks, where we went today, what you'd like to see, comments, questions, any of that. Scroll down, leave your comments. It matters a lot. It tells YouTube how much you enjoy the show, as so does hitting that like button and telling your friends about the show, putting this link other places, posting it on Reddit or on Twitter or on Facebook, wherever it is that you're going and talking about travel or relocation or retirement or digital nomadery, whatever, get out there and let people know about the show. It matters a lot. And if you'd like to sponsor the show, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. It means so much to me when you guys do that. It's, it's really touching uh, that this show means so much to so many people. And as always, if you're looking for assistance with relocation or you want information about uh, our upcoming apartment offerings or whatever, info at relocatenicaragua.com. And with that, I will see all of you for a wilderness walk in a storm. We've already posted a short to give you a little teaser of that. So that's coming up. It's already recorded. I got to edit it, but I think it's going to be a short one, but I think you're going to find it a little bit different, a little bit interesting. So that's coming up tomorrow and I will see all of you tomorrow.